All right, y'all, we finna have a vibe out session about seasons. All too many players are feeling like seasons ruin NBA 2K. Let me ask y'all something. When is the last time that 2K actually gave you something back for playing the game? I'll sit. I'll wait. So now we get 2K22 and 2K introduces seasons, giving us a bunch of free stuff. And a good portion of the 2K community is like, nah, I don't even want it. Those rewards are trash. You spoiled little. It is what it is. Let's keep it PG, but let's also keep it a buck. The last thing I remember 2K actually giving back to me was a Christmas ugly sweater in NBA 2K20. Me personally, I spent years investing into 2K. My time, my energy, my money. So when you're a longtime player like myself, when 2k gives back you actually appreciate it especially me as a content creator that i've been preaching 2k needs to be more incentive based to keep us playing the game i mean do we not recall we had to pay 300,000 for each individual nba mascot so now in season 5 in nba 2k22 we get in these super dope super official affiliation mascots now i get it don't get me wrong i get both sides of the argument some players feel like the inflation costs outweigh the free items that we're getting or they at least even out because we are paying a lot more for builds and people are making a lot more builds you guys are also paying a lot more for cosmetic items but one thing to explore is do you have to i do know that if you want to play at a competitive level you do need the right build out there and 2k is ever so changing with these patches so oftentimes we make more than one build and i understand also that a lot of the cosmetic items that 2k gives us in these seasons do not meet the needs for every player so i can see how some players are like man i just don't even want that stuff well if you don't want that stuff just keep playing the game now let's look at it from a gameplay perspective in my opinion 2k22 is light years i mean like so far ahead of 2k18 it's so far ahead of 2k21 i actually had to stop playing 2k in 2k21 because of the experience that i had but now i enjoy 2k how can we even consider the idea that this is a bad 2k and that 2k is ruined and i always get these messages like 2k22 is a wasteland nobody plays the game but yeah i'm still getting rec matchups still getting pro-am matchups still seeing the parks full let's come to a realization 2k community we love free stuff seasons in my opinion are here to stay it's the way gaming is headed battle pass type of gaming is where the future of gaming actually lies i think we should just sit back and enjoy the free rewards because in my opinion 2k is going to eventually start charging you guys for them seasons and just like everything else they charge for and create inflation for we are all gonna pay it costs us nothing but the time that we would have normally invested in the game anyway but yet we're getting free stuff so let's just sit back accept that enjoy it and move on there's a huge argument that 2k does not listen to the 2k community but if you guys didn't see Brutal tell Sim on the scene, Wicked and Me. If you didn't see Brutal Sim, the guru, in his last video, he actually broke the news that the 2K community is the reason why we have a parrot legend reward. Y'all be sure to go check that out because it was hella interesting. Shout out to Brutal Sim and the Brute Squad. In my opinion, 2K is actually listening to the community more than ever. Consider the exploits that we've had in 2K22 since its release and how those exploits have completely been removed from the game. Point guards had left right cheeses that were unguardable when that got fixed interceptor just went insane with 2k allowing for auto steals i mean your hand is not even on the controller and you're getting a steal it was ridiculous and 2k removed that as well and let me remind y'all that in previous versions of 2k when there was a 2k exploit that exploit lasted damn near the whole year in 2k22 these things have been addressed asap one of the best rewards in 2k history was the tiger for hitting legend in nba 2k16 we got that for free mascots probably the second Second best reward in 2k we get that for free and i'm almost certain that jetpacks are on the way as well another great reward that 2k has offered in previous versions of 2k we get the hoverboard for free in season five to remind y'all these were incentives that kept us on the game in previous versions of 2k incentives that you had to play the whole year in order to attain now we're getting them in one season so what's to complain about the gameplay is on point well maybe interior defense and the three second rule not so much but for a good point portion of the gameplay it seems to be on point i'm having fun out there so i guess the overarching question that i pose to you guys is explain to me how the seasons ruin 2k explain to me how we receive free stuff and now 2k is ruined because of it i would love to hear your thoughts your feedback your concerns leave them in the comment section below hopefully you guys found this video helpful and or interesting and if you did please consider dropping a like on the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing 
as we intend to have a ton of 2K22 content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.